Law enforcement is a field where we deal with the unpredictable. Gun violence is rising in Vanderburg County. It has been for the past few years. Now we have people that are held up in their homes. And with that climb. Oftentimes they have weapons in there. The sheriff's office says they've been facing another issue. We're being fired upon more often than ever before. We have had uh, multiple standoffs uh, in the last 12 months. Just last week alone, both VCSO and the Evansville Police Department were called to two separate standoffs within 12 hours of each other. And while EPD is able to deploy its armored vehicle when the situation grows tense. For a while, we were borrowing the one from the Evansville Police Department. It's called a Bearcat. VCSO does not have its own bulletproof truck, but that's about to change. We're getting ready uh, to have a $200,000 vehicle delivered to us. Uh, that's we ordered uh, many months ago because of the uh, standoffs that have occurred in Vandiver County. VCSO says their Bearcat was paid for by the Sheriff's Perpetuating Funds, which are specialty funds allocated over time, separate from taxpayer dollars. And it's taken a long time to assemble. After about a year of waiting, the armored vehicle is expected to arrive in May. We can get closer to a residence on and speak to people and protect our deputies while they're in close proximity to a home. And uh, to think that you know, we're spending $200,000 for one vehicle because of the uh, craziness that we deal with every day is, is just something I never thought about 30 years ago. Once that armored vehicle joins its arsenal, VCSO says it will be just as equipped as EPD. Because in a moment's notice, we can have the most horrific event unfold in front of us. And they'll be ready to respond in any situation. In Evansville, Valerie Lyons, 44 News.